So our consumption is equal to C bar, some textbooks they write it as C little zero, C naught, plus little c y. So C bar or C zero refers to autonomous consumption. What do you mean by the word autonomous? Autonomous, it means independent. So this means that it's independent from our level of income. For example, let's assume that you lost your job. Will you still eat, drink, see a doctor, pay for rent, pay for transportation? Yes. So this is considered your autonomous consumption, which means you will have to spend this amount of consumption regardless either you have a salary or not, regardless you have a higher salary or lower salary. It's independent from your income level. Then, our little cy refers to our induced consumption. What do you mean by the word induced? Induced, it means that it's dependent on our income level. Which means, if you have a very high income, this means that you are going to have a high induced consumption, such as you're going to buy BMW or Lamborghini. But what will happen if you lost your job and your income dropped? So this means that you're going to buy a simple car or you're going to use public transportation. So this means that your induced consumption will be lower. Therefore, the induced consumption mainly depends on our level of income. This little c is called marginal propensity to consume, MBC. So what's the definition of marginal propensity to consume? It means that for each additional $1 in income, how much we're going to consume out of it. Therefore, MBC is always between 0 and 1. For each additional $1 of income, either you'll consume all of it, which means 100%, 1, or you'll consume nothing and save it, it will be 0, or something in between. You're going to consume 90% or 80% or 70%. Therefore, do you remember our high school math? Our y equal a plus bx. So this means that if we'd like to draw it, draw this consumption function. So this means that what would be our x-axis? It would be our income because our x-axis here is income. What would be our y-axis? Our y-axis will be consumption. Then look at the a here. a or c bar refers to our intercept. And here b and little c refers to the slope. Since we have here positive c, it means that we have a positive slope. So I would draw here a positive slope. And I will not start from zero. I will start from a positive value because we have the intercept, which is our C bar, our autonomous consumption. And this will be our consumption function, C equals C bar or C zero plus little c y. So let's assume that our output is 100 and, and this output we have a consumption of 90. Then output will increase to 110 and this will give us a higher consumption of 99. So what will be our slope? Our slope will be our change in consumption divided by a change in income. Therefore, our little c is a change in c divided by a change in y. What's our change in c? New c minus old c. So it will be 99 minus 90 divided by change in y. New y minus old y, 110 minus 100. So this will give us 9 divided by 10, which means 0.9. So in this example, our MBC, our marginal propensity to consume is 90% or 0.9. Remember, it's always between 0 and 1.